Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, replace the CPU in one of these uh, Dell Inspiron 640Ms. So let me just close this. So yeah, basically I'm going to show you guys how to replace the CPU in one of these and uh, yeah, let's just, just get straight into it. So I will uh, restore this in the future, but I don't have any parts for it. You can see, oh, that's just a phone, but. Okay, but you can see it's like pretty beat up on the sides. This keyboard is missing keys, it's bent. Well, although I did destroy the keyboard a little more because I it was already missing keys. I was gonna need to replace it anyway, so. Yeah, I bent it up and it still works, but it still needs to be replaced. It's, you know, it doesn't work as well. Yeah, but the sound is, yeah, the sound is turned all the way up, but you can see it's pretty loose to screen. It scratches all over the place. The bottom is disgusting. I need to remove the sticker. But that'll be in the restoration video, which won't be coming up soon. Uh, although, I do want to restore this into working condition. Even though it's not worth it, I do want to restore it. So, there you go. It's still shutting down. So, what you'll need for this is a, uh, is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. The flathead will... Uh, in a second. First of all, flip it over. Okay, my camp, my orientation changed. But, anyways, you want to screw these three screws on the side here. So, first you want to remove the battery. And this isn't a third-party battery. If you're thinking that because it, you know, it's working, it's probably replaced before. No, this is an original Dell battery so put that right there and now we can unscrew the plastic cover and there's our socketed CPU so you want to unscrew all the four screws on the side If it sounds like that, don't worry, that's just how it's supposed to be. There we go. Now that that's off, you can take a look at our Intel CPU. I'm not sure what CPU this is. Um, I'll have to take a look at that when we get it out. And this is where our flat head comes into play so you want to like turn it counterclockwise to release it it just comes right out you don't want to touch these gold contacts but it might be a core 2 duo or a core duo Stupid phone again. But yeah, your Intel processor, whatever you have, um, you know, doesn't really matter. But now you can turn it clockwise and lock it into place once you've got your new or used whatever CPU you have in. It's dusty. I'm not going to clean it. You uh, can just put it back in. And screw the heatsink back on. And I know you're not supposed to screw them in all the way. 
one by one, but I don't care, and I am stupid, so. Yeah, if I break it, then fuck me. So, yeah, I don't think I've sweared before. This plastic is broken. Whatever, I'm going to repair this in the future anyway. Sometimes this doesn't fit properly. There we go. Just have to like clip it in. Can screw it in. There we go. And I just want to fix this bracket here. This is the RAM for this computer. Yeah, that's the RAM. And see it's not in the best shape but no this is not the rim actually the rim is here so, so let me show you that so this is there's only one dim it looks like you can put another one but you know solder a new thing on whatever it is but one gigabyte of DDR1, I guess. Um, it should say on here, but too stupid to. It might be DDR2. Nope, I think it's DDR1. Because this is either DDR2 or uh, DDR1, because DDR3 is, you know, the bigger one in DD, you know. DDR3 is like right here, DDR4 is like more in the middle, so. This is definitely DDR1 or 2. Um, I don't know either, either of those, but yeah. Hopefully I can fix this panel. Yeah, this doesn't really fit that well. What what would I expect from a laptop that's probably been like thrown on the pavement before? But that I'm just joking. Yep, I can't easily fix that. Yeah, I can't easily fix that, but whatever. You can put your battery back in. And uh, there we go. That is your Dell Inspiron 640M. You might be able to install Windows 10 on here. I don't know if you upda upgrade it to like 2 gigabytes of RAM. I think that works on Windows 10, but... Anyways, um, that's about it for this video. Pl um, what was I going to say? Um, please uh, like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. And uh, check out my Twitter at youfelix5 on Twitter. Wait, uh, that made no sense. Uh, well, check out my Twitter, you know, you Felix 5 I don't post there very often. I, well, I just posted there, like, a few days ago. Uh, this Acer laptop. That will be restored soon. I decided not to explain everything and let you guys see things for yourself or try to figure out things yourself. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.